What's going on fish nerds? Carlos here and I just got back from the fish store and I want to show you guys what I got. I'm pretty excited about it. I think you guys are going to like it too. So let's take a look. All right, so the first thing I got was this temple plant over here. I uh, wanted to get something over in this corner. It was a little open and bare and wanted to get something to fill out that side of the tank. Uh, we've got all the rock work over here, so I wanted to get some plants going over here. And when I first scaped this tank, I did have the corkscrew valve down in this corner, but these guys were just way too rough on it and it did not do well. So I'm thinking the temple plant will be hardier and I'm hoping it'll actually kind of get a little bit of a bush effect going and, and kind of hide some of this equipment back here too. And also down here, I picked up this Ludwigia Acuata, if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, kind of a needle leaf or thread fin Ludwigia or Repens. And uh, what I've read about this, it does well with moderate light. I'm hoping this Stingray on the 30 tall will be enough for it. Uh, if not, I did put some in uh, the 55 gallon with the T5s. Uh, just in case this doesn't do well, hopefully what I put in that tank will do well, but I'm really hoping it does. It's a really nice looking plant. I also picked up this piece of driftwood uh, for scaping this tank, but that will be a later video, so subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss that. We're going to be setting this up for shrimp. All right, and what you guys are really here for, the fish I got. I brought home some exclamation point rasboras. Check these guys out. These guys are really similar to the chili rasboras in that they are just a small little tiny dwarf species. This is about as big as they're going to get. But you'll see they've got that line down their body and then that spot on their tail. That's why they call them the exclamation point rasboras. Really cool little fish. I've been waiting on my LFS to get these guys back in stock so that I could get them in this tank. I think they'll look really neat with all this rock work. It's just a tiny little nano species swimming around. Uh, mild concern about the crayfish, but I think they should be fine. These crayfish are pretty lumbering and slow. These guys are quick and darty and should get along just fine. And the crayfish haven't even tried to bother the the bristle nose, there she is hanging out down there on her rock. She's always either on that rock or on that rock. But I am really excited about these guys. For comparison, if I can get to focus on them, there we go. For comparison on how small these are, these are full grown. These are babies and not much smaller. So really neat little fish. All right, I'm gonna get these plants planted and I'm gonna get these guys turned loose in the tank and I will check in with you guys in a minute. All right, so here we are. Got the temple plant planted back here and I'm not gonna lie guys, I am really happy with the way this looks. So now at this point it's rising up on both corners of the tank, rocks on one side and plants on the other side. I think this fills this out really nice. I think it looks really good. And uh, these guys are getting all camera shy and spooked right now. They they got really spooked when I was in there planting the, the plant, but uh, they'd got to where they were, you know, getting back out and about, but I think I just spooked them coming up with the camera. But uh, it looks like they may also be hunting snails too. But I think it looks great in here. Also got the Featherfin Ludwigia planted up here. I went with planting it down at the corner, kind of the base of the rock work. So that way it's kind of a differentiator from this angle. You've got the, the tall bushy plants over here. You've got the rock work coming up here and this is kind of a mediator right here in the middle or at least hopefully it will be as it grows in some and I if it looks sparse, that's because I did only plant one bunch. I bought three. I put one bunch in the uh, 55 in the living room, but uh, I put the second bunch down here just to see how it does in each tank, if it does better in one than the other. But just kind of 
planted it around the spider wood here thinking if it takes off I can kind of weave it through the spider wood which would be pretty cool like if it got pretty long and I could just weave it around some branches and stuff would be pretty sweet I think and here are the rasboras they seem to be pretty happy settling in they've been in the tank for a few minutes and I really like these guys I am so excited about these little fish and uh, the cameras not doing them justice because they're so small that it's having a hard time tracking them and focusing on them now that they're swimming all over the tank there's a little guy over here oh. but I did get 10 of these uh, the reason I got 10 was because that's all they had uh, hopefully they will have more in the future and I'd like to at least double the amount of them that are in here if not triple because I think a big group of these guys swimming around in this tank would just look awesome but really excited about these guys something else I'm wanting to do now that they're in there I'm realizing that this clear background where I can look straight through the drywall back there is not the best for viewing these guys so I think what I want to do is get like some black poster board or something like that and get a black background on the back of this tank so these guys will pop out in front of that black background so I haven't fed these guys yet so let me throw some food in there and we'll see what happens with that and so I actually put in a little more food than I intended to oh well but they seem to be pretty happy about it the more they settle in the more they actually have a little bit of like a a yellow hue to them plus that cool exclamation point pattern they've got really neat little fish all right guys so let me know what you think of these fish these are by far the tiniest adult fish I have ever owned and maybe about the tiniest adult fish you can own they're about the size of the Brigitte rasboras, the chili rasboras. So definitely a tiny little fish, very cool little nano fish, and I'm totally excited. Also, even though it is currently when I am recording this Tuesday evening, by the time you guys see this video, it'll be Friday, and I will be at the Aquatic Experience. So be watching for more content about that. And of course, I'm gonna be meeting all kinds of people. All your favorite YouTubers are gonna be there. Aquarium Co-op's gonna be there. The King of DIY is gonna be there. Dustin's Fish Tanks, Flip Aquatics, Lup Diesel, and many, many, many more are gonna be there. I am totally stoked and excited to meet everybody. Bob Steenfot, LR Bretts, just the list goes on and on and on of all the people that are going to be there and to me that's going to be the most exciting part is just getting to meet everybody in person so really looking forward to the aquatic experience but definitely be watching for videos about that coming up in the future with that said i hope you like this video even though it felt a little bit different to me it didn't feel like one of my typical videos but i hope you liked it and if you didn't just Come back again next week because I'm going to have a whole lot of other stuff coming your way. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. God bless you, fish nerds. I'll see you next time.